Hi, I'm Paul Merriman, and I'm here to share some information today about one of the most important projects of my whole lifetime. I want to talk with you about global help. But before I do, just a little bit about my own personal background. I am a retired investment advisor, and now in my retirement, I am president of a financial education foundation. But of all the things I've been involved in, in terms of helping others, there is no other activity as important as global help. Let me tell you a little bit about global help. This was an organization founded 11 years ago, and I have had the good fortune of being a member of the board ever since it started. And what do they do? Well, they're dedicated to getting information, free medical information, to all kinds of healthcare workers around the world, but very specifically focused on the developing nations. And when I say healthcare workers, sure, that would include doctors and nurses. But in many cases, in, in, in these developing nations, the people you're working with are folks who are not doctors, are not nurses, but they're healthcare providers, community healthcare providers, as well as the technicians and lots of other people who are trying their best to help the children in their particular community. And why is there such a need for this information? Because I know what we're used to in the United States, we're used to all sorts of fancy equipment. And, 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 and when you have an operation, there's a, a legion of people who come in to take care of you and make sure that everything is just perfect. Well, life isn't that easy in the developing nations. And in fact, a lot of the equipment that we're so used to, not even available. The surgical environment, in many cases, not even available. And if you looked at the libraries of the physicians and healthcare workers in those countries, you would find that it is, it, it is sadly lacking in the, the amount of information they need to take care of the folks that they're servicing. And that's where global help comes in. In 2002, we decided to, 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 to offer free publications to the physicians and all these healthcare workers in the developing nations. In the beginning, it was basically the idea that we would provide printed material. But over the years, at the direction of Dr. Staley, we have continued to add more and more ways to help these people. From printed publications, we got onto the internet. From the internet, we got onto DVDs. And now, in the latest work that Dr. Staley is doing, he is helping not just the people who watch his YouTube pieces, but he's teaching other physicians to make YouTube pieces to help the world. And how has the world, how have these people overseas in these developing nations responded to this information? Well, let me just give you a few numbers. Over the last 11 years, we have printed in excess of 100,000 publications. Over the last 11 years, we have had over 5 million downloads. If you know what a PDF download is, can you imagine over 5 million? These are not, by the way, people wanting to watch a, a popular a movie or something. These are people looking for information to take care of the people that, that they're there to serve. We have, have, have distributed all sorts of DVDs. In fact, that is one of the latest. Let me show you. Let me just show you. This one little DVD right here. It has over $3,000 worth of books on that DVD. Everything, by the way, in some cases, books that would cost a physician in the United States two to $400 to buy, free to the physicians and healthcare workers in these developing countries. A dollar a piece. That's what approximately what it costs to produce these. And we have the good fortune in working with physicians who travel the world in these developing nations. They deliver them. They hand deliver them often to people that we can help. 
Let me show you another one. This is this has been huge. This is the two of them here. These are these are books. The the uh, Ponzetti Clubfoot book, and the work that that Global Health has done has, has really become the go-to source of information on how to treat a clubfoot. In fact, in Uganda alone, because of the work of Dr. Staley and, and others, there are over 10,000 of that book, but well over 100,000 have been printed over the last 11 years. And let me show you one I just think is absolutely amazing. Free. Free to physicians, healthcare workers in Africa. This is the first of its kind. The Pediatric Surgery Book, a comprehensive text for Africa. Now let me give you an idea of what that was all about. Global Health was contacted by a physician from Africa. He had gotten 150 healthcare workers and doctors together to write this book. But nobody was interested in publishing the book because there was no money in it. There was no bottom line profit. And to the best of my knowledge, Global Help is the only organization of its type that was there not only to agree to publish it, but to do all of the work to put a book together which included the editing and, and, and lay all the layout and working with the printer. And we have been able to distribute that book not only free as hard copy, but we have had over 250,000 PDF downloads since that book came out. So we know, as an organization, we are changing the world. And one of the things I think is amazing is how little money we've had to accomplish this. And part of that is because, for example, Dr. Staley uh, and, and, and his wife Lana, not only are they the largest contributors to this organization, but they have worked tirelessly without any compensation. So this is an organization built to change the world. And you are certainly in a position to help make a change. Your contribution, and this is an interesting promise, your contribution is guaranteed to go to the work of creating that change, to the publications, to the website, uh, to, the, to, the, to the DVDs. Because one of the unique things that we did as an organization when we set it up 11 years ago, we as a board of directors took on the obligation to give the money necessary to cover the overhead so that any time we asked somebody like you to give, we knew that your money would go exactly where you wanted it. I don't care whether you want to give $25, which would be wonderful, and, and keep in mind at a dollar a piece, those DVDs, $25, suggests that 25 more DVDs will be made and those physicians who receive it will have thousands and thousands of dollars of free textbooks at their disposal. Now some of you might be interested in writing a larger check in which case you should contact Dr. Staley and talk with Lynn because in many cases uh, those people who have contributed have taken on a special project. One of our contributors uh, was responsible for the 3,000 Clubfoot books that went to China. Another contributor paid for all the shipping costs to ship these huge books for Africa. So there are projects, very specific projects, you could in fact agree to participate in. But the bottom line is this. Ben Franklin said that an investment in knowledge pays the best interest. And what Global Health is committed to is they are committed to spreading medical knowledge throughout the world to physicians, to nurses, to technicians, to other health care workers, and by the way, to the parents of the children who have these challenges. And in some cases, even to the children, because 
not every medical uh, textbook uh, uh, producer or publisher would be able to say this. We not only produce these very valuable textbooks for the physicians, but we even in some cases provide a book for a young child to understand the challenge that they have. So this is a very special organization, at least it's very special to me. I hope you will make it special to you. Donate what you can. And follow the, uh, all of the projects that Global Help is doing. I know you will be proud. And I know that the world will change from your donation. Thank you.